Yo, what up, Lightform family? Jordan Panasevich here, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly map a scene like this that has a lot of contrast, as well as how to layer effects with blending modes. It's really the coolest thing that I think a lot of people are missing out on, uh, and it makes your visuals much more unique and original. So the first thing I'm going to do is map this scene very quickly. Again, this is kind of a lazy but fast way to do this. And so I'm going to grab the entire scene. I'm actually going to grab like right up to like right here so I don't grab that uh, lamp on the right side. And then what I'm going to do is grab my magic brush over here. Um, my tolerance is set to eight right now, and I'm just going to start grabbing wall space. So it works pretty well to grab only the white of the wall. Now I do have a couple of issue points that I know of. Um, it's just where like things overlay, like this panda right here sometimes gets grabbed, but yep, there he goes. I'll clean that up in a second. And then over here, uh, sometimes, yep, that poster gets grabbed too. So here we can just turn the tolerance down. I'm going to go to like three or four and then start grabbing this again. And now I'm not grabbing that poster. I do want to grab the frame though. It's actually really cool looking when it's not projecting onto the frame. And then the rest of this wall over here and up here. Cool. Got these lights looking semi consistent. Awesome. So then what I'm going to do is now grab the paintbrush, the normal brush, and do negative mode, kind of match my uh, size of this thingy over here. That was actually perfect. And I'll just clean that up. Cool. So now that we have that mapped, what we're going to do, create this surface. And of course, it's going to take a second. Cool. Not too bad. Now. Go to my asset browser and on this top surface, what I want to do is go to solid color. Um, I could search for it, but I just scroll down. And when I insert solid color, the only thing I need to change is that color to black. And now none of that wall will be projected on, but I still have my under layer here. So we click on this layer and now again, blending effects is like the coolest thing I think that a lot of people aren't doing. So you go into your asset browser, choose any of your favorite images, uh, I'm sorry, any of your favorite effects and start to layer them. So if I do dissolve, which is one of my faves, um, that looks super cool. And then if I layer one on top of there, at first it makes it seem like it's not doing the dissolve anymore because we're just overlaying that as a normal blend. But if we change any of these blend modes, you can see there's a ton of them to play with. Um, some of my favorites are lighten and overlay. If you do that, you can see both effects in full swing. I'm going to change the colors here so it kind of matches that Aurora Borealis. And now we've got layered, dissolve, and digital fade working together doing really cool stuff. You can layer as many effects, uh, you know, really, <laughs> the world is yours. Explore, have fun. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.